guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a crocheted border or an edging on a non-crocheted item. So we're going to be using a dishcloth for this. And so what you have to do is attach a blanket stitch in order to then crochet onto your cotton item. It's very beginner friendly, so if you've made a few things, you could probably accomplish this project. There's nothing too complicated about it. The best thing about this is super quick. It adds a handmade and beautiful touch like that. So let's get going and I'm gonna show you how to make the blanket stitch and the scalloped edging. Let's go. So let's get started. This is my sample piece of toweling. You can buy this by the yard at the craft store. This is the back side of the hem. So we're going to be working from the back on this part. Here is the edge of our towel. This is some yardage that I had cut um, just for sampling, but this is what the edge would look like on an actual towel. So it's going to be the exact same process. We are going to make our marks halfway down the hem. So the first mark you want to be in a little bit from the edge. So we're gonna make our first mark. And then we are gonna make a mark one quarter of an inch going down, okay? Okay, so here are our marks. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen stitches going across. Okay, even though we've made, so we've made 15 dots, but this is 14 stitches. Okay, so you got to make sure that the number of stitches can be divided by four plus one. All right, so let's make this a little bit longer. Right now I have 29 dots which means that's gonna equal 28 stitches and I need, so 28 is good because that can be divided by four, which is seven, but then we need to have one more. Okay, does that make sense? 29 stitches and 30 dots. Okay, so now let's move on to our blanket stitch. I'm gonna be using this uh, thread because it has the high contrast. You'll be able to see what I'm doing on the white. This is pearl cotton number eight. Anchor makes it, DMC makes it. Both of those are good. A pretty long piece. Make a knot on one end. Now you wanna use an embroidery needle. An embroidery needle will have a bigger eye so you'll be able to thread it easier than a hand stitching needle. All right, now let's begin with our blanket stitch. You're going to insert your needle from this hem side underneath and come up where that blue, just where that blue dot is. You can see we have not come through on the back side. We're going into that hem because that's where we're going to bury our knot. Okay, now that our knot is in there, we're going to make a loop going around the edge of the fabric, coming back up through where that blue dot is. And I'm gonna do that one more time for extra security. Now what I'm gonna do is insert the needle just underneath that loop because we want our working yarn to come from the left side of that loop. That will make sense in just a minute, but just go ahead and do that because you want the, it's a travel along nicely along the edge. We don't want it to be a diagonal line. Okay, now you're gonna insert your needle right under that blue dot and make our blanket stitch. 
So we inserted the needle at the dot and pull it through this loop here. And that is our blanket stitch. So now continue doing that going all the way down and then I will tell you how to finish off. All right, so here's how it's looking. Here's the, here's the front side. So we're gonna be making our 29th stitch, our last stitch here. Again, we need to have it divisible by four and then add one, so 29. So 28 divided by four is possible and then we add one. So now I'm just gonna bring my thread down to the base where I inserted at the blue and I'm gonna make a little knot. So I'm gonna insert my needle down here at the base of that stitch. Okay, so we, we inserted our needle down here and now we're gonna just insert it again and make a little loop to tie it off. Here's the loop, insert your needle, pull, and now we've made a knot there at the base of that stitch. And now we're gonna bury our tail. So we're just going to insert our needle, kind of travel across the hem here, pull out the needle. Then we can cut the tail from over here. That way everything is nicely buried. So we're gonna be doing the scalloped edge. I'm gonna be using the Cotton Ease yarn. I'm also gonna show you how to use the sugar and cream. But for right now, we are gonna use the Cotton Ease yarn, 3.75 millimeter or size F, as in Frank, crochet hook. Now we are gonna crochet from the front side. So the first thing we need to do is attach the yarn to our blanket stitch. So insert your hook and pull your yarn through and tie a knot. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Now we're going to chain one and now we're going to single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, both loops. Okay, now we're gonna skip a stitch and then we're gonna do five double crochets in the same stitch. That's gonna create our scallop. So yarn over, insert in this stitch. So we're skipping a stitch, insert in this stitch, Yarn over, pull through. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, two loops. We're gonna do five of those in the same stitch. Skip a stitch and single crochet. So skip this guy, single crochet here, 
insert yarn over pull through yarn over two loops and then we're going to skip a stitch five double crochets to make another scallop and this one Okay, now that we're done with that, skip a stitch, single crochet. Now you're going to continue this going all the way down and then I will show you how to finish off. So just as a refresher, we did our single crochet, skip a stitch, five double crochet, skip a stitch, single crochet, skip a stitch, five double crochet. Okay, and you're going to continue that pattern to the end. Here is our scalloped edge. So our double crochet scallop is here. Skip this stitch. And then single crochet to finish it off. Now we can cut our yarn. Leave a little bit of a tail. Bring that tail yarn over, pull it through the loop that's on your hook to finish it. Give it a nice tug. And there's your scalloped edge. Now you can take a yarn needle. This is a metal one. You can use a plastic one too. And weave in those ends. Flip your work around to the back side and you can weave in the ends. Just make sure that it's secure. You can even do a little knot if you want. Go back and forth. Okay, so here is with the Lily's sugar and cream. And the thing that you have to keep in mind with the this one, I actually prefer the look and the texture of the sugar and cream over the cotton ease, um, but it does need a larger hook size. So for the sugar and cream, you need to use the size H or the five millimeter. And your stitches need to be three eighths of an inch apart. So you can see here, my stitches are further apart. They're three eighths of an inch. So if you're looking on a ruler, okay, so here's one eighth of an inch, one eighth of an inch, two eighths of an inch. Okay, so that two eighths of an inch would equal one quarter inch, right? So we need three eighths of an inch for the sugar and cream. Does that make sense? So from these little kind of smaller marks within your one inch, you need to count one, two, three, and that will give you three eighths of an inch, which you need for the sugar and cream yarn. Okay, so recap, sugar and cream yarn, you need an H hook or a five millimeter and a three eighths of an inch blanket stitch. For the Cotton Ease Lion Brand yarn, you need quarter of an inch blanket stitch and the 3.75 millimeter hook. And that's the difference in the look. Okay, so that is how you make your scalloped edge. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it. Uh, that's a really great way to help get this word out about the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. All of the details on all the products that I use and everything that I mentioned will be in the description box below. If you're on a desktop machine, click show more underneath the video. That will open up the description box. If you are on a mobile device, there's a small little gray arrow to the right of the title of the video and if you click on that the description box will open up a lot of people have trouble finding it so that's where you can find it all the details will be there the links materials that i use my blog post where you can find more photos and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video